Good evening, everybody. Um, this is the cash game at America's Card Room. Uh, I'm taking a break from the horses because of uh, a couple of uh, horse fatalities. Um, actually, a, a whole bunch of horse fatalities. I just have to get my head away from it for a while. Um, uh, in, in any case, uh, this is just a... a a, a one two cent game and uh, at uh, America's Card Room. I thought I'd talk about uh, America's Card Room and uh, how I had to send money to uh, America's Card Room. They wouldn't take a debit or a credit card, but they would take uh, crypto. And I didn't know anything about crypto. But uh, what I found out is is pretty simple. It it takes the uh, the mystery out of it. If you have a PayPal account, a PayPal personal account, you can buy crypto. And the crypto that that uh, America's Card Room recommended to me, and, and it worked well for me, was Litecoin. L I T E coin. C O I N. And uh, um, as long as you have money in your PayPal account, you can buy whatever amount of uh, Litecoin that you want through PayPal. And uh, the Litecoin goes into your account. You have to hold it for five days before you can transfer it. But uh, if you open a uh, ACR account, uh, you can just go to make a deposit. And they'll ask you what kind of a deposit you're going to make. And you choose Litecoin and they will give you an address that you copy down and uh, go back to your PayPal account and uh, tell the PayPal you want to send X amount to uh, ACR and you give them the address. Well, within minutes, the money is in your ACR account. And of course... The, the big question that everybody has, well, yeah, I can put money in, but can I take money out? And the answer is yes, because uh, I deposited a, a total of about $200 uh, into my ACR, ACR account. And I won a, uh, a tournament that paid 500 So I took, I took, I actually took 300 out. So I took, took out a hundred dollars more than I put in there. And, uh, I've been playing with that, uh, with that other $200 ever since. But, uh, anyway, uh, uh I played at, uh, America's card room. I mean, not at America's card room at, uh, poker stars, uh, for a long time. And I built up a, $12 million, uh, uh, $12 million chip bank account. And of course, the, 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 you know, that $12 million chips is worth nothing. So uh, I switched to uh, ACR and uh, I'm attempting to do that with real money. And uh, of course, I've been playing with uh, micro stakes, as they call it. But... Um, Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to do with this video was to uh, go over um, the ins and outs of depositing uh, into the, your ACR account. And uh, I'm just having a ball on here. Now, d d do I go for the inside straight for 12 cents? I don't think so. Um... No, I, I can't do it. Anyway, so, you know, like I say, the, you can play cash games. I, I play mostly tournaments. <laughs> I'm just playing in this uh, little penny two cent uh, cash game. And, and it, of course, the, the one and two cents are the, oh, the antes. You can go all in if you want. But... Uh, Anyway, they have uh, um, annies of, uh, you know, one and two cents and up. 
And uh, they have tournaments. They have free roll tournaments. They have uh, tournaments that start at 11 cents. And uh, <laughs> anyway, if you like playing poker and you want to try your hand at, uh, at seeing if you can become a professional, then it's all right here at ACR for you. And uh, I'm going to call with it 5 7. And uh, I have an inside straight draw, which I'm not going to play for. Anyway, that's that's all I wanted to cover in this uh, in this video. Um, you know, it cost me a dollar and sixty cents to uh, enter this table. I can cash out any time I want. Well, you know, whether I'm up or down. Um, and uh, there's always plenty of people playing here at uh, America's Card Room. So 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, they're here for you. Anyway, this is Laughlin 007. I'm going to sign off. Um, good luck at the tables and good luck at the track. And if be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we have a lot of fun at this channel. I do pick winners for horse races now and then, and sometimes the winner doesn't necessarily have to win. It might be a long shot that comes in second or third. Um, I did pick Mage to win the Kentucky Derby at uh, 75 to 1, and uh, that was a great day for me. Anyway, this is Laughlin007 signing off. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, please feel free to put them below comments or questions. Thanks for tuning in.